actually, in the three years, your business has also changed pretty significantly as well, which has been yeah. kind of cool. Um, and so, that, so that's been great. Um, and uh, he's also brought a friend along, we'll see, to yeah. do some uh, <laughs> taping. So this is kind of a neat opportunity to see sort of, you guys are gonna hear about video creation, and we're gonna create a little video at the same time. So it's kind of fun, we're kind of walking the talk here, so that's great. Um, the company is Between the Lines Animation. I put the website up there, it's on your handout as well, you can check it out later. Um, but I'm gonna turn it over to Jeffrey. He's gonna spend a little time just uh, sharing a little bit about his business story, what he does, and also sort of what opportunities there would be for people uh, who are at kind of the great 10, 11, 12 stage looking for um, that kind of a world to get into. So um, I just, can I just invite you guys to join me and just give Jeffrey and Steve a really warm welcome. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Richard. So yeah, my name is uh, Jeffrey Marr. I run Between the Lines Animations, and this is a company where we make animated marketing or training videos for, uh, for companies and and they, if you put a video like, like this on your website, it's been shown to boost conversions, so they, they help companies make more money and they'll invest in that. And then we also work with, uh, in terms of training videos, we'll make stuff for like, big companies like ExxonMobil, uh, Janssen Pharmaceuticals, or Johnson Johnson. And then uh, we work with Ontario Real Estate Association, Nelson Education, some, some big companies trust us to make these types of videos. And so yeah, uh, essentially the, the thing that's interesting about this company is it started basically from a YouTube channel that I, I created. So I was able to transition YouTube into this business. And uh, the way it happened was I found these little whiteboard animations online. You may have seen them, like where they, the, like a hand comes up and draws stuff on, on online. Pretty much I Googled how to do that. And then I, I found a software that allowed me to do it. And then I, I learned this software by making animated book summaries on YouTube. And then I was putting out one of these every week. And then from, from just like kind of consistently doing this, I was able to get my YouTube channel to, I think we're at 10,000 subscribers, somewhere around there now. And then uh, I got my first client somehow, I can't remember how, but it was just like doing the exact same thing I've done for book summaries. I just did it for a car wash or a car dealership or something like that. And then they paid me $400 and I was very excited because I was making $400 doing just something that like I kind of learned how to do by myself. I was excited about it and then I got another job like that and then another job like that and then eventually learned more software and then we started just continuing to make these videos for people. And then um, eventually the, the thing that we tried to do is Adobe After Effects which is a very complex animation software and I thought about I thought about making it for, like learning how to do it myself and I spent a couple weeks trying to learn it and I decided my time was sort of better spent just doing the, the communicating with clients and closing deals and then I, I hired an animator to do that. And then the, 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 the animation went pretty good while having an animator and then we just kept getting more and more clients and then now, now there's about eight of us so we have a bunch of animators now and uh, I don't do any animation myself anymore. It's just uh, I don't do any of the outreach for clients anymore so I just have people in place to do that. But the coolest thing about this is uh, this is a completely location independent business. So this, uh, I can do this from wherever I want. I have clients in Toronto, I have clients in uh, Vancouver but this is the second month I've been in Canada this year. I, I just got back three weeks ago. I was in Budapest uh, in Eastern Europe. And I spent two months out there. I've been living in Cancun. So, so like even I have an account manager here in Hamilton. I've just never met him. And that's the cool thing about sort of where we are right now is I can, like you, can, you guys can start any business for free pretty much. And you can sort of, yeah, like just test out just test out different things, like whatever it is that you guys want to do, just like you're young enough that it's not a big deal if you fail. So you got to just try to test things out over and over and then you can eventually, uh, either your YouTube channel will take off and you can make a bunch of money like that or you could, um, even if you start a business like this, if you guys are wondering, I'm not sure if anyone has their careers sort of set that they're looking for, but if this were to fail, I am now useful to the job market. You know, like before, if I wanted to, if I wanted to get a job somewhere and I hand in my resume, they wouldn't accept me because I don't, I'm don't. i unqualified. But now that I have this, I have a team, I have leadership skills, team, team building skills and, and just like problem solving skills and being able to build systems and everything like that, but people offer me jobs all the time just because of, of this. So if you want to try something else, it kind of shows, um, I would say it shows uh, like 
ambition or, or something like that, like whatever people would be looking for in a job, and it's been a while since I've looked for a job, but uh, yeah, like this is like starting your own business or starting showing showing that you're you're going for something, that's gonna be very helpful for getting a job, and then um, let me see what else uh, I can touch base on. Um, yeah, although it's, it's pretty cool, there's, there's also cons to running the business, so uh, number one is very, very risky. Uh, so with, I've been doing this for two years and my company is doing really well. Like if I were to spend uh, four years in university and then start this, uh, or like then get a job somewhere, I wouldn't be making as much money as I am right now doing this. So, so it's like, it's faster in a way than going to university, but it, it sort of depends on what you want to do. Uh, but there's no one really telling me how much money I can make, so it, it's all dependent on how good I can execute ideas, how how efficient I can build my team, and how like quality I can make the videos that we make. Uh, and then closing deals and bringing on salespeople, bringing on account managers, just making sure everything goes smoothly. Uh, so there's no there's no way of uh, people like telling me how much I can make. It's just all on me. But then on the flip side of that, there's also no there's no fail safe, there's no safety net. So like I don't really get to, uh, like I don't have a set thing where I make $5,000 a month or something like that, like where I know if I have a car payment or something like that, like I know I at least have a salary coming in. Uh, so for that reason it's risky because I could make zero dollars and I've had a lot of mon months where that is the case, but then like, like there's just big ups and downs with it. So it's like, it, it's cool, but then you have, there's a certain very specific type of person who, who like just this is what they do and this is what they love. Uh, other people like you'll be better suited for a job, but even if you do want to just get a job, I would say try something out like this. Uh, even if you even if it doesn't work out and you know uh, it's not exactly what you want to do, like just whatever kind of business it is, uh, at least you'll be more suited for like you'll be more employable by doing this, even though it may not be something you want to do in terms of career, because it is really risky and it is really problematic and like you don't, uh, yeah, like it's not it's not for everyone, but it's still, it's very fun and it's enjoyable. Um, and then any other, like uh, finding, finding good teammates, team members is very good. Uh, and pretty much um, like it's a very difficult thing to find people who are good because uh, yeah, a lot of people are sort of they just want a job, and they, like it's hard to build a culture around what you, what you do here. But the, the good news is about building a business. If there's something here that I don't really want to do, like sending out messages to people uh, to get deals, is not something I enjoy. So like it's not like I was hired for this position, and then that's what I have to do. So I can I can just hire someone else to do anything I don't want to do. So pretty much my my business I get to sort of only I can like hire people to do the stuff I don't want to do, and then the fun stuff I get to in charge of, so that's pretty another cool thing about it. Uh, I would say in terms of you guys using technology and uh, sort of how you could use com your computer skills, because you guys are young, uh, you guys have an advantage in that you guys know how phones work, you guys know all about social media, like you guys probably know Instagram influencers, it's like a very viable career choice right now. Uh, just doing stuff like that, The the thing I would say is just educate yourselves a lot because like, the more you read and the more you learn about the world and like where it's heading, uh, right now everything's moving very quickly so a lot of jobs that we have right now won't be around uh, in 10, 15 years like, when you guys are entering the workforce so uh, pretty much like, the way I would, thing I would say to do is just stay on top of like, where the world is heading, just like, constantly be keeping an eye out on that and like, self-education is going to be better for you because like when I went to I went to college for business and what they were teaching me in marketing class was nothing that actually worked. Like they didn't teach me anything about Google ads, they didn't teach me anything about Facebook ads, they didn't teach me about Instagram influencers and using that. But that's what we use now, you know? So so like getting courses and educating yourself is gonna be an integral part of your guys' sort of future in the workforce and, and the speed that things change too. You may you may only have a career for say ten years and then you have to like learn something else and get better, so it's like, it's it's gonna be tricky, but yeah, just stay on top of everything. That's uh, that's pretty much what I would say would be the secret, but just like, educate your guys on your own. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say today. Uh, we just wanna thank you for coming in uh, today. It's been great to have you uh, try again. So let's thank uh,
again for being here.